It is Tuesday today and I have been super super busy this morning, I haven't picked up the camera at all. Um, I have basically been getting through a to-do list, I had to go post orders and then I went to town and picked up some food because we're out of food and then I've come home and pretty much just got through the things that I need to do on my to-do list before Bonnie wakes up because she's currently asleep right now. This afternoon I am going to go get my hair cut because it has got to a length which just gets annoying. It always goes really matted behind the back of my neck when I wear a coat and stuff. That's one of the super down points of having super fine thin hair. So yeah, I'm getting quite a bit cut off. Like I want it to sit on my shoulders again. I find when it's that length, I feel most happiest with it. Like I'm not stressed about it constantly. That is happening at 3.45. I wasn't planning on having that happen today, but I rang up and said, do you have any appointments this week? And she was like, I have a slot today at 3.45. And I was just like, bugger it, let's just do it today. <laughs> That's what's going down this afternoon. I'm gonna go get some food. Bonnie will wake up in a minute because it's almost two o'clock and she never really sleeps this long. I'm gonna get some food. Jack's home at about three o'clock because he's on a split shift. I'll be going to get my hair cut whilst he's here with Bonnie. And then yeah, I'll show you what we're getting up to then. Something I can show you right now though, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have probably seen this on my Insta stories when I got it. But I wanted to show it in a vlog because obviously Insta stories are only up for like 24 hours. This is the colour diary from Daphne's Diary. They got in touch with me again and asked me if I wanted to try out their colour diary. They sent a few photos and I was completely intrigued by it because I've never heard of something like this before. This is the colour diary so it's a hardback book it's about a5 size and inside you basically have one page that has nothing really on it like there's nothing to do on it it's kind of a blank decorated page and on the other side you have a coloring picture and at the top there's a little key as well so all the pages are different I think they do alternate because you can see on the side it like duplicates about five times by the looks of it so what you're meant to do or how they suggest using it is to track your mood so you have a different color for different moods and then each day you color in part of the picture in the corresponding color yeah on this side i was thinking of doing like a gratitude journal type thing so each day write down something which i'm grateful for but you could definitely use it for tracking other things if you had a habit you wanted to break so yeah that's how you use it it's so pretty they always have such nice products daphne's diary they did send me a second one to give away to you guys over on my instagram so that should should still be running when I upload this vlog so if you want to be in with the chance of winning one make sure you go and check out my Instagram I will leave it linked below and I'll also put it on the screen but if you do want to just get one I'll leave that link below as well this would make such a nice gift for someone as well who likes journaling it's something a bit different to just like a notebook or a normal journal I don't have a ton of stuff to show you at the moment I do share some sneak peeks and everything over on my patreon just projects and content and stuff that I'm working on so it could be stuff that I'm working on with brands it could just be some stuff that I'm working on myself um, that I've not shared anywhere yet. So I do share quite a few sneak peeks and stuff over on there if you are interested in knowing what I've got coming in the future. Seeing as it is now August, I'm gonna thank my July patrons. There's a few more people this month, which is really exciting. I love that the little community we've got on Patreon is growing. So my July patrons are Emma Durrans, Becca Tinsley, Stacey Della, Geraldine Davidson, Teresa Hagman, Vicky Foster, Wendy, Anna Brim, Kaylee Offley, Fangless, Martha Rowe, Luvisa Callaholt, Ashley O'Callaghan, and then with my other list, Christina Toth, Elaine Kavanagh, Anita Anderson, Catherine Crucifond, Lindsay Morgan, and Lois Lee, I think that said. I think it's Lee, it could be Lai. Yeah, so those are my July patrons. They'll be getting the August content. Thank you all so much for becoming patrons this month or last month for this month. As always, I really, really appreciate it. I'm really enjoying creating the content. I've loved creating the art pieces. I have so many ideas for them that I can't wait to try out. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content as well. I should have an extra extra video going up this month. So if you're an $8 or more patron, I usually do two extra videos. A couple of you requested some little kind of look around my office videos. So I'm gonna try and get one of them done this month and put it up this month. Just a kind of extra little sneak peek around my office. So if you do become a patron this month, you still will be able to see that. As always with Patreon, it's not a necessity. I'm not stopping content on YouTube. It's just an extra platform if you want to get some extra content from me each month. Plus it really does support me in the process. And for that, I am genuinely so grateful, like so, so grateful. So thank you to everyone who has become a patron of my Patreon. I think I am gonna go downstairs now and get some food. I'm gonna wake up 
puppy dog, look at her. I feel bad waking her up. If she carries on sleeping, then she's going to be an absolute nutcase when I want to go out for my haircut. I don't really want to put her in a crate when she's like super, super excited. Come on. Hey. Hi. Do you want to go get some food? <laughs> Look at those ears. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at those eyes. That's put me back on the beanbag so I can sleep please. Why these snugs are so handy. I can just hoik her up, take her downstairs and plonk her on the sofa. <laughs> oh flomp. Hi. Is that flomp you on the sofa? You made it downstairs. Mm. Here we go. You okay? You just flop there for a bit. Okey and just like that I'm home from the hairdressers with shorter hair. I don't know why but it just feels like a weight is off my shoulders. Probably literally when I have my hair shorter. It's just not tangled at the back anymore. It's all one length. It's not all scraggly. And I feel like it doesn't get stuck to my head as much. With hair like mine especially, when you wake up, there's just no volume to it whatsoever. So when it's a bit longer, the kind of weight of it, which there's probably not even that much weight, but the weight of it pulls it like flat to my head. Whereas when it's a bit shorter, it kind of just hangs there a bit better. I've also just had a nap as well. Jack came home from work, which... I don't think, do I mention it? I think I mentioned it. So yeah, he came home, got some food. Um, I napped <laughs> because I was exhausted. Bonnie napped with me. She's now awake, which isn't ideal. She's not meant to be awake right now. She's only had like an hour, probably not even that, asleep. If I can get her to snug back down and go for another nap, that would be perfect because then I can get some work done that I should have got done when I was napping. It is now Wednesday and I am currently editing the footage that I took at the Trimcraft event. I have a snoozy pup on my lap because she was not sleeping on the windowsill by herself. She kept jumping down and playing and I really needed a nap because if she is awake now it means she's going to sleep when we want to go out later. So I tried to get her to go to sleep and the only way she would definitely go to sleep is in the snug on my lap. So that's how we're going at the moment. I'm getting all the footage that I took there edited now and then I'm going to record on this camera kind of overview and chat about the actual event and what went on and that should hopefully be up on Monday so probably before this vlog goes up so it should already be up so if it is already up I'll leave a link below if you want to go and have a look. It was a really good event I really enjoyed myself. Yeah I'm getting on with that now and then I still have a load of stuff on my to-do list from yesterday that I didn't get done so I'm gonna get on with that as well. <laughs> didn't end up filming anything else yesterday I filmed the like talky part of the Trimcraft vlog. I had to do that in two sittings because Bonnie woke up, went downstairs, got lunch, Jack came home when I was filming the second half. Then I ended up having a nap with a headache, woke up, had dinner, watched Prison Break, and then went to bed so <laughs> yeah wasn't too too exciting last night we are hopefully going to town because I want to get some more frames we've started doing the um what's it called picture collage wall thing in our living room like I've stuck the pieces of paper back up so I can actually figure out where everything's going and I've also laid the frames out on the floor and I kind of need some more so <laughs> we're gonna go and try and find some more frames and some picture hooks and then hopefully we can start putting them up on the wall we don't have anything to go in them but when they're up I can always take them off to put stuff in them it's just getting them up and getting like the layout and stuff sorted that's the most frustrating part but yeah I've just done my makeup I Need to check my bank balance before we go shopping, but other than that, I'm pretty much ready to go. Are you not crunching them anymore? I think her back teeth are falling out, so <laughs> she's been like that with um, normal treats, not just ice cubes. <laughs> this is the layout that I was talking about on our wall, so I was trying to get it like centre, like an even space either side. And I was going to try and get an even space there, but I don't want it too far low down but yeah it looks pretty pretty even yeah and then this is the pile of frames that i've got already i've just bought her a new toy from b&m and someone's decided sit down sit quiet okay you do what's that i also bought another frame 
and another two frames and another three frame, four frame, five frame. I just got a load of different sizes of frames because these ones were all on sale. I got all of them for like six quid. These ones were two for four ninety nine, so like two fifty each. And that big one, that was the most expensive. That was seven pounds, but it's another big size one to go with that big size one to go with the two big pieces of paper on the wall so I also picked up the creativity magazine that I am in this month they usually send me one but I've not got it yet and I couldn't really wait and also the free gifts this month are really good there's a paper pack with the collection that I love at the moment they've got this like watercolor collection um it's the capsule elements pigment collection and then there's also a Faber Castell gelato is that what it's called yeah, gelato stick thing, and this one's in yellow. I think it's kind of like oil pastel. Not 100% sure though. You've already broken something off of it. What are you chewing? Chewing something there. Oh, you've already got his eye off. Really? <laughs> Gonna be eyeless by the end of the day, I'm sure. Okay, good girl for dropping that though. So let's see if I can find my piece. Oh, there's Geraldine's, um, Geraldine's TN is in here that she made. There it is. Ooh, that's, that's me. This is my little little spread in here. This isn't my photo. I left like a blank space so they could add a photo because I didn't have one which really fit with it. But yeah, if you want to have a read of how to put this together and stuff, definitely pick up the magazine. It's the issue number 85, which is the August issue. So yeah, this was a really fun one to do and I actually did it whilst I was down south in the summer. Um, so when I went down south for a week, they messaged me and asked if I wanted to do this project and I was like, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll be down south, but I could definitely do it. <laughs> um, so I managed to get it done. Oh, is his other eye gone? Where's his other eye? Have you eaten it? Uh oh, did you eat his other eye? Okay, well that will come out later, won't it? She's wearing one of her new bandanas as well that I got from Rara Style on Etsy. Okay, so I've just laid out all of the frames that I've bought. I bought them from loads of different places. Um, wow. This one was actually on sale in TK Maxx and I don't like the picture that's in it, but it was a decent sized frame for a decent price. It's a bit battered, but I can fix that. But yeah, that's kind of the layout that I'm going with. I'm missing a couple over here, like smaller ones I've not got. They're the only small ones I've got. I've just had two parcels arrive for me, one with Royal Mail and one with UPS. This one is from Box Clever Press and it's a load of stuff for me to try out and I'll be sharing my opinions and stuff on Instagram, hopefully doing a blog post on that. This one I think is stuff for the Paper Mate campaign that I'm taking part in. Some of you might remember in February I did the Sharpie Valentine's Day campaign with them. And I'm assuming the company who sort out all the Sharpie PR also do Papermate as well and they got in touch and said we've got this campaign would you like to be a part of it? It sounded great so I was like yes definitely and they sent me some of their pens and everything to use for the campaign um, so yeah I'm gonna open these up and show you what's inside because they're really exciting. So inside there is a little note that says hello Daisy hope the package has made it to you in one piece and that the yellow box has brightened up your day I have to admit the yellow box is pretty cool. Please find your Inkjoy gel pens, Loistrum journal and washi tape inside. Really excited about collaborating with you and we can't wait to see your creations. Enjoy from Kathleen at Team Papermate. So yeah, that's really lovely. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, these are the Papermate Inkjoy gel pens. I have seen these about and they look so good. These ones have a grip on them, which is new. And of course, they come in a rainbow pack of colours, which is just wonderful. There's then a black Loistrum, and this is soft cover, which I've never used before. And then they've also sent me some rainbow washi tape, which is really cool. So yeah, so this is my little, like, kit for taking part in the campaign. I am really looking forward to doing it. So if you aren't following me on Instagram, I will leave a link below and you can go and check out what I've been doing for the campaign um and then there's this one which i'll open up hold on so in here there's a note that says hi daisy please find enclosed a busy day platinum starter set this set contains the 2017 slash 2018 busy days planner punch washi tape stickers and additional discs i hope you enjoy it i'm looking forward to hearing your views kind regards rebecca so inside wow okay <laughs> there's a lot in here so we have two packs of stickers these are the family and friends ones these ones are baking crafting and gardening so you've got a sheet of puffy stickers and then there's a load of like flat stickers those are so nice let me look at this one Oh my gosh, look how colourful they are. And they have gold foiling as well, which is just, just 
tops it off, tops it off. So there's some spare discs. There is the washi tape, which is so pretty. There's the punch. This is so you can punch your own pages to put in it. And we've got some refills. So this is May to August. There's a clear pocket. And then we have the Busy Days Planner. I'm gonna take it all upstairs and go through everything properly a bit later. But yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna do a blog post on it, like take some photos and stuff so you can see them a bit better. Doggo is currently napping. Jack has just got back with, I don't even know what it was. It was like a bag of cement looking stuff. I think it was like something for the walls up in the spare room. Um, because we're getting that done because I have some friends coming to stay. I think I'm going to get some lunch and then I'm going to go upstairs in my office. If she's still asleep, if she wakes up, then I'll have to stay down here. <laughs> yeah, I want to get some work done. I need to do some emails and stuff. <laughs> this is her bee bandana as well that Chloe made us. Someone asked in my last vlog to show the bumblebee bandana. Um, so this is her wearing her little bumblebee bandana that Chloe made us. I'm having a good old no makeup day today because I've worn makeup for the past couple of days and I just want to be able to rub my eyes today because I've been so exhausted. While she was napping I did manage to go to the post office though and get some things posted and I found these as well. I went to the original factory shop and they had these in there and these are the type of pots which I use for when I'm doing like journaling and stuff to like keep things in. It is literally just a little pot. <laughs> Um, but it's a pack of four and they were a pound for four but they were £2.50 before so I got them for a pound and I was like 25p each bargain. Not for you! See? It's like um I'll try and make it for me. Get down, down. Good girl. But yeah I picked them up because when I have like ephemera and stuff all over the place it's easier to have it in like a little bowl I don't have many this size. I have some bigger ones, which are fine, but obviously when I have a load of different things on my desk, I can't have loads of big containers. It's like I'm bored now. She was falling asleep downstairs, so my thought process was if she's falling asleep downstairs, I might as well take her upstairs and let her fall asleep upstairs so then I can work while she's sleeping. Because I don't like to leave her downstairs by herself when she's sleeping, because obviously if she wakes up, then I don't know. What is this piece of hair? Oh my gosh. My hair is awful. Like, what way does that piece of hair go? I feel like it could go either way. Depends how far I want my parting over, bugger it. Let's just put it that side so it goes that way. But yeah, she is pretty constant at the moment, like, non-stop. I didn't... She's trying to get out the door now. <laughs> if I didn't get her to nap or, like, you know, calm her down and stuff, she would be going, like, 24-7, I'm sure of that. I'm not finished editing the video that I'm editing right now, but Doggo has decided to wake up, so that's the end of my working day. <laughs> I reckon she will fall asleep before bedtime so I might have the chance then to finish editing which would be really really handy. I think that's one thing with getting a puppy that's really frustrating because for me when I'm like on a roll with something with work I want to get it finished like I don't want to stop halfway through I want to finish it then. When there's a dog that wants to get up and go and play and go out to the loo and be fed you can't do that <laughs> so I think that's one thing that I've struggled with the most with having Bonnie. I love her, wouldn't change her for the world, wouldn't want to be without her. I've just had a hard time adjusting to the new routine in that sense. I will take you downstairs with us because I don't know how long I'm going to be down there and I feel like the past few days I've ended the vlogs pretty much when I walk out of the office when she wakes up. She's just eating carpets, BRB. Let's just ignore the really hideous fireplace. We don't know what to do with this because ideally we just want the fireplace to be <laughs> one colour red so we tried paint and we tried applying it in different ways but as you can see someone's already like painted them red originally the bricks are obviously white but someone's painted them red and they only painted up to where the fireplace was but we've obviously taken the fireplace off because it was very dated we want something to go around the metal bit to make it look neat get rid of the things in there i'll probably put a plant or something in there we don't want it to be a working fireplace right now too much hassle, too much time, too much money. But yeah, we just want the bricks to be one nice red colour, not this red colour. We tried like watering down the paint, we tried so many things. And then we just want one mantelpiece in some sort of wood to go with the wood of the coffee table. So this is what I got done today. It just says let go and it's like rose gold embossed. Um, and this is from 
if you watch the Michelax, they have a print shop. And my mum knew that me and Jack watched the Michelax and we really like them. So she decided to buy me a print for my birthday from their shop because we actually have somewhere to put it now. We have a house. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, that's all we've really done today. We did go for a walk this morning at the park. She is currently trying to get a fly, I think. It's the tiniest little fly on there and she spotted it. Right now I am trying to fix a load of Bonnie's toys. I just managed to bodge job the bed that she made a hole in like two days after we got her, I think. And we haven't used it since, but I want to put this one in the car. So I fixed that. I've just fixed this toy and she's going crazy about it. 